Christian therapist Leslie Pilkington's career may be over because she tried to help a homosexual man who said he wanted to leave the gay lifestyle. The incident happened in 2009. I was approached by a young man who said um, that his name was Matthew Stins, actually, and that he was gay, he was very unhappy, and he was depressed, and he wanted to leave the lifestyle, and would I be, I be able to help him? But his real name was not Matthew Stins, it was Patrick Strudwick, and he was lying about why he had come to her. And to be quite honest, I totally believed everything that he said. I had no reason to suspect anything else. He seemed to me to be very anxious. He kept asking a lot of the same questions, but I thought that was because he was just trying to decide if this was the right therapist for him. Leslie says that throughout two counseling sessions, Patrick made it clear that he wanted to leave the gay lifestyle. What she didn't know was that he was an undercover journalist and he had a tape recorder strapped to his body. Then the counseling sessions ended and Leslie's professional nightmare began. And he then telephoned me to say that, in fact, he was not at all who he said he was. His voice completely changed. He said that he had just lied about everything, everything, his name, address, occupation, that he wasn't unhappy at all, that he was a gay journalist, he was happy in his gay lifestyle, and that his purpose was to expose me and people like me. Strudwick heads a group called the Stop Conversion Therapy Task Force, which opposes psychological conversion therapy to help gays become straight. And he wrote about his experience with Leslie in two of Britain's biggest papers. Pilkington now faces disciplinary proceedings by the British Association for Counseling and Psychotherapy. Among her transgressions, praying to God to heal Strudwick of his homosexuality and having an agenda that homosexuality is wrong. She could lose her accreditation. Andrea Williams heads the Christian Legal Center, which is helping Pilkington. Leslie Pilkington, if you believe that a homosexual can change their behavior, you will lose your job. You will be disabused of your position. You will lose your professional accreditation. The gay agenda is one of the most potent political movements in the United Kingdom. Even though, according to a poll, there are not very many homosexuals in Britain. Only 1.5% of the population. That's 750,000 homosexuals in a nation of 60 million people. There's been um, an incredible shift um, in, in our nation, both in our media and particularly in our law, that treats the whole homosexual issue, the whole gay agenda, as something that absolutely equivalent to race. Leslie's attorney Paul Diamond says it's part of a broad agenda to overturn all traditional values on sexuality. They call it human rights and it's, they use these grand terms like tolerance and diversity. It's a hard-nosed political agenda of which an objective appears to be to remove Judeo-Christian morality from the public realm. The British government has approved a plan to insert homosexual themes throughout school curricula, even math, to help children view homosexuality as normal. Meanwhile, the British High Court has ruled in a landmark case that Christian beliefs on sexual ethics may be harmful to children. It was argued the state has a duty to protect vulnerable children. The government in Britain argued this from being infected with such ideas, such ideas being Judeo-Christian views on sexual morality. One of the riskier things to say in Britain today, especially if you're a therapist, is that homosexuals are not born that way, or that homosexuals can become heterosexual. After Strudwick's undercover investigation, the British Medical Association decided to brand gay conversion therapy as harmful. Strudwick told CBN News that gay people in Britain are, as they are everywhere, at risk of hate, intolerance, and persecution. He said there is no empirical evidence conversion therapy works, and there is plenty of evidence that conversion therapy does damage. He added that love needs no cure. Diamond and Pilkington say conversion therapy works. People do change after treatment and it has a high success rate and there's no evidence of any harm. That is actually the evidence. The science actually backs up the word of God. And as Christians, it's, be, it's to be encouraged to hear that, that science is backing up the word of God and that you are not born that way. 
Pilkington, who has a son who is gay, waits to see if she will be banned from ever counseling again. She believes God is taking her through this experience and using it in people's lives. I also feel that the Lord's giving me an opportunity in that to try and speak to those who are in a homosexual lifestyle but who are unhappy. And really the message is that you don't, you're not born that way. You don't have to stay in that lifestyle. There's hope. And that's a really important message for today, that there's hope. Dale Hurd, CBN News, London.